In a quiet town in Virginia, Theodore and Maria, high school sweethearts, tied the knot at the tender age of 19. Their love was pure and deep, the kind that only the young and hopeful can experience. Just a month after their wedding, their joy multiplied when Mariah discovered she was pregnant. The news brought an extra layer of happiness to their lives as they began to prepare for the arrival of their first child. But hey, before we dive into the story, do yourself a favor and pause the video right now. Go hit that like button and let's see if we can make this video reach 1,000 likes. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to your favorite story channel. Also make sure to ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest and weirdest stories. Trust us, you won't want to miss what's coming your way. Now sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed as we take you on an unforgettable ride. Don't forget to engage with us in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Without further ado, let's dive right in. The young couple spent countless hours planning for the baby's arrival. They carefully furnished a small room in their modest home, painting the walls a soft pastel color and filling the space with a crib, a tiny wardrobe, and an assortment of toys. Their excitement was palpable as they imagined the life they would share with their little one. A life full of love, laughter, and the warmth of a small, happy family. But as the due date approached, their dreams were shattered by a series of tragic events. On the day Maria went into labor, Theodore's car broke down, and their neighbor, who might have helped, was nowhere to be found. Panic set in as Theodore desperately tried to get Maria to the hospital. With no other options, he called for an ambulance, but it arrived late. By the time they reached the hospital, Maria was in critical condition. In the delivery room, doctors quickly realized that Maria couldn't give birth naturally and needed emergency surgery. The minutes dragged by as Theodore paced the waiting room, his heart pounding with fear and worry. When the doctor finally emerged, his face was grim. Maria had suffered complications during the surgery and tragically passed away. Their baby, a little boy, was saved but was now motherless. Theodore was devastated. The loss of Maria, the love of his life, was unbearable. He couldn't bring himself to hold the newborn child, the living reminder of what he had lost. The nurses, seeing his anguish, decided not to press him and allowed him time to grieve. They suggested he return in a week to collect his son, hoping that the time would help him come to terms with his new reality. But the days passed, and Theodore couldn't bring himself to return. The pain was too raw the loss too overwhelming. Meanwhile, Maria's grandmother, known affectionately as Grandma May, stepped in. Learning of the situation, she rushed to the hospital and took the baby home with her. She named the boy Thomas and began caring for him with all the love she could muster. Despite her advanced age, she provided him with everything he needed, determined to give him the best life possible. Grandma May tried to reach out to Theodore, hoping to convince him to come and see his son, but Theodore remained distant, consumed by his grief. He couldn't face the life he had once envisioned, now so cruelly altered. Four months passed, and Thomas grew under the tender care of his great-grandmother. The only father figure in his life was Max, Grandma May's loyal, mixed-breed dog. Max adored the child, often staying by his crib and watching over him as he slept. One day, Grandma May decided to visit Theodore with Thomas in tow, hoping that seeing his son might stir something in him. She found him sitting near a grove, a bottle of wine clutched in his hand, his eyes hollow and distant. Despite her pleas and the sight of his son, Theodore remained unresponsive, lost in his sorrow. Realizing she couldn't change his mind, Grandma May returned home, more determined than ever to provide Thomas with a loving and stable environment. Three months later, something unexpected happened. Theodore showed up at Grandma May's door, claiming he had overcome his grief and wanted to be a father to Thomas. His eyes, once dull, now held a glimmer of determination. He spoke of starting anew and giving his son the life Maria would have wanted. Grandma May was skeptical but hopeful. She wanted to believe that Theodore had found the strength to move forward, so she reluctantly agreed to let him take Thomas home. For a few weeks, everything seemed to be going well. Theodore appeared to be genuinely trying, spending time with his son and attempting to rebuild his life. But beneath the surface, he was still struggling. 
The weight of his loss and the pressure of being a single father began to take a toll on him. He fell into a deep depression, unable to cope with the demands of parenthood and the overwhelming grief that still haunted him. One fateful day, Theodore made a tragic decision. In his despair, he believed that Thomas would be better off without him. He took the baby to a nearby railway track, intending to leave him there. But as he prepared to walk away, Max, who had sensed something was wrong, followed them. The loyal dog had always been protective of Thomas, and on that day, his instincts kicked in. Max darted through a hole in the fence and reached Theodore just as he was about to leave the baby on the tracks. The dog grabbed the blanket in his mouth and gently pulled Thomas away from the edge. Theodore, realizing what he was about to do, broke down in tears. Grandma May, who had followed Max after noticing his strange behavior, arrived just in time to witness the scene. She quickly intervened, calling the police and taking Thomas back into her arms. Theodore, sobbing uncontrollably, confessed to his actions. He explained how the loss of Maria had driven him to despair, how he felt helpless and unfit to raise his son. The police took him into custody, but Grandma May pleaded for leniency, knowing that Theodore's actions were born out of grief rather than malice. Theodore was admitted to a rehabilitation center where he received the help he so desperately needed. Meanwhile, Thomas returned to the loving care of Grandma May and Max. The boy thrived under their watchful eyes, growing up in a home filled with love and compassion. As the years passed, Theodore gradually recovered. He visited Thomas regularly, rebuilding their relationship bit by bit. Though he never fully overcame the loss of Maria, he found solace in the bond he formed with his son. Max remained a constant presence in their lives, the heroic dog who had saved Thomas from a tragic fate. Thomas grew up to be a kind and resilient young man, shaped by the love of his great-grandmother and the loyal dog who had always been by his side. The story of Theodore, Thomas, and Max became a local legend, a tale of love, loss, and redemption that reminded everyone of the importance of family and the unconditional love that animals can offer. In the end, Thomas had a family that, though unconventional, was bound together by love, loyalty, and the lessons learned from a past filled with both tragedy and hope.